Okay, what's Blazing Bros? Today is a special day. Okay, so this is uh, Louis Bristow. You know me. My name's Jeff Blaze. And today we're going to talk about bullying. So, yeah, let's get started. I want to take the gloves off because, you know. Okay, so bullying. Not a good thing at all. Him, me, and a whole lot of other people around the world even have been bullied. So, today, we are taking a stand for it, okay? So, bullying. It needs to be cracked down. It's nothing to be played with. Exactly. Like, I've been bullied ever since my, ever since my first year of uh, middle school and him, and it's starting back off this year. We're not going to take it. We're not going to take it. We'll, we'll make sure this gets stopped. At our school, we have police officers that go around the school. And we make sure, and they make sure that it stops. If people bully at our school, they, they, they usually go to juvie court or jail. Depends on how bad it is. Plus, we have teachers. We yeah. have, and you see, and me and him, we, we don't want to turn you guys in or anything. We really for, don't. For bullying us, but it's got to stop. I mean, literally. You don't want to, y'all don't know what you're doing to yourselves. You're screwing up your own lives because at our school, where we go to, it's screwing. They got our backs. Yeah. And they, they, the bullies, they're pretty much going to jail for it every time they get, every time they bully someone. And <laughs> it, it screws up their lives. The, you guys don't really know what you're doing. In a way, it, you're just hurting yourselves even more. You're, you might be hurting us in the short run, but we got we got people to back us up in the long run. Now, people say bullies are are bullying people and are hurting other people's feelings because they're already hurt on the inside. We understand how that feels, but we don't. People like us, us, us victims, we understand how that must feel, but we know how to handle it well. Just pushing people around is not a way to handle it. Don't push people around. You've got to be a real dumb. Uh, I'm sure. I cannot really say the word because because this is going on his channel, which is Lewis Bristow. Yes. And this is going on my channel. I would say this the word, but you know, actually, it's going on Grilchy's. Well, it's going. You know, I don't know. It actually, it could go on all three. Yeah, it could go on. Grilchy's Productions, Louis Bristow, and Jeff Blaze videos. That's all the three channels that we're doing. I have, I would say stuff, but you know, I'm not getting out of the range you know, because we are on a important situation. Bullying needs to stop. You know. But it's not funny. I mean, I know I know you're trying to help yourself, but <clears throat> in reality, hurting other people, and people. you're also hurting yourself because you see, it affects you by the consequences. Like, as in, like as we said before, you at our school we go to, we go to jail for bullying people. It's not funny. Take this as an example. Okay, so we were watching a video last night, right? Yeah. With the, with, okay, so there was this, you know, these people who were bullying other people. And what happened? Just a, hey, hey, hey. This person uh, got bullied so much that they filmed it later on in the year of the school and then sent it to the college. And what happened is that these guys got, you know, they got taken away. Uh, not, uh, not taken away. Declined for the uh, for their uh, bullying. There you go. That's what happens when bullying happens. What if I do that to you guys? What if I do that? I could send it to. I could be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna put this out. You guys get a job. I could be like, hey, I I know that person. He bullied me in school. You know, I send it to the job that you're working at. Hey. I'm not one. <laughs> As for the victims that's been bullied, we got your back. But you, you gotta realize, I know you guys been bullied. But <coughs> keep it, keep it, keep it level. Do not bully others as well, even if you've been bullied yourself. Keep it on the down low. As for the victim, 
I know we are victims ourselves. And we've been bullied. Sometimes we have bullied in our past years, right? Just because, just because you're, you, you pick on your brothers and sisters, that's natural. Yeah, but, but, that, but. I don't bully people. But that was back in the past when it, we were different, when we didn't realize. You see, I still pick on my brothers and sisters because they pick on me. Yeah, I understand. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. When I was younger in middle school, I, all right, yes. I see why some people think I'm retarded on YouTube. Okay, you see, I have this mental disorder called Asperger's syndrome. It makes you stop, so it, it it makes you socially awkward. And while it's hard for me to actually fully grow up, fully be act all mature, but I try my best to. But I also am very good with kids, so that's that's why I act like a kid because I'm very I like I like hanging around with children a lot. We we. I got this guy's back, no matter what. Why would I be standing here? And, yeah, but, you see, see, I may look like, I may seem like I'm retarded, but I'm not. I'm not retarded at all. If I were retarded, I would be in a wheelchair, just, just... Or in a mental institution or something like that. Yes, but I'm not, and there's no such thing as a retard that could talk. I mean... Well, well, I've actually seen... A retarded person who can talk, and I'm not trying to be mean about that. I'm saying We're not being that mean. I'm saying that okay. So being a retard and acting dumb or not being wasn't me. Okay. Well, not let me just acting say this. dumb. And the reason why I things. the reason why I a I, retarded person is you know, he he can't control what he does or she. Sorry. Right. For all the she's out there. But yeah. And yes, there are special kids. But you know what? We're here to also defend them as well. I'm I have some specialties, but not that much. I'm fully functioning. I'm I'm a little bit higher up than most of people like me are. What we're saying is that just because you know that you have special bill not special abilities as in like superpowers, something like that. But special needs, like me, him other people out there doesn't give you the right to mess around with them and be jerks about it and stuff like that. It's just not right. You gotta, you gotta be a low down ace hole, arse hole, <laughs> who. Okay. I just don't get why people do this. So, yeah. But what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say here is, I use my childish my childish side, childish side in order to it's basically a survival tactic people think I'm weird or childish or dumb in a way they somewhat feel bad for me but in reality that's just to get them just to make them stay away from me and not even try to pick on me it's what I learned how to use but it, and at the same time I'm I can be tough at times but that's only if they, if a bully decides to pick on me. I won't let that happen. But, but before I even, before I, if it keeps on happening, which this school won't let it ha keep happening, if it kept happening and the school doesn't do anything about it, out goes a fist for defending. Because, I mean, sometimes you got to defend yourself if, if you're alone somewhere. But I wouldn't say the school would be the best place. If, if now if your bullies meet you somewhere in the, the um, alleyway. alleyway, and you call the police and they don't think it's really a big deal, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Jeff? You have to do something. If there's more than one, I can take on one. Yeah, and you're going to... Depends on how big they are. I mean, if they're really big, you know. I mean, <laughs> I've seen some big guys in my life, and I, you know. But I, I have taken down a, plenty, uh, a lot of people. I know it doesn't look like it, and you can make fun of me just because it doesn't look like it. But if you meet me outside of school, and you want to uh, face me one on one, I bet I'll beat the crap out of you. And it depends on how big you are. I'm not saying that I'll beat everyone up. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if there's one on one, then yeah. But anyway, but we're not just. This, but but y'all know self-defense is also <laughs> needed in some. 
type of way. But it also could help you show that, sh give them a further respect for you. If you're a victim, it will show them further respect for you. And then eventually you two, or y'all will be fast friends in the way. Am I right? Sometimes fighting and, and also... And I'm not going to say this, I'm not going to say the names, but in Miss Hudgens' class, if you are bullying me, you better stop it. I'm giving you this one warning. And this one warning is the final warning. If you do it one more time, I got I got the teacher. I got the teacher has my back, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm trying to say is, so <clears throat> self-defense can also give you give the bully a further respect for you for respecting how you are. Am I right? Sometimes fighting can bring you together, but in a way, <coughs> just don't do it for fun. Fighting's not supposed to be fun unless you're wrestling just palling around like this. What? It's funny, but I mean th that's okay. But there are there are do's and there are don'ts. Don't cyberbully. Right. Don't give somebody a black eye just because they win. They got a girlfriend or a hoe or something like that. I don't know. Don't you know? Don't socially ag it on. Stuff like that because I have seen people act it on. You just you have to be <coughs> if you want to joke around, that's fine and all. But you also gotta be careful with your offense. Be careful not to offend anyone. Don't and and with me in Miss Hudgens class, that's happened to me. You know, they're offending me because I don't know why they do. I'm not saying their names. They know who they are, but yeah, the must have this class. I, I got, I'm, one more time, one more time and it happens again. Well, Lincoln really screw your life up. <coughs> and you don't want to do it. I mean, you gotta stop. And you gotta learn how to deal with your depression and your anger the right way. Or it'll screw up your life. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, when I was younger, I wasn't... I'm, I wasn't very normal. I'm just telling the truth. I wasn't like I am now. I'm just, I, <laughs> okay, we, we both know. Okay. But like I was saying, when I was younger, I was a psychopath. Uh, now I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, I, I'm not kidding. I was a psychopath. When I was younger, for fun. <laughs> well, I didn't do anything for fun actually. I was actually quite depressed. When I, was, when I was younger, every time I got bullied, I'd go home, after I got home, I would get get my weight that I got for Christmas and try and hit me on the head to commit suicide or something. To, you know, give me major brain damage. My mom would stop me every time, and she would get the spoon, and she would spank me with it and say, You wanna feel pain? I'll show you pain! And I, I was like, uh, but... You see, I was depressed my junior. And I and I was on medication and all that. I mean, I, I was on Adderall for my hyperactivity. But that I, I'm not on that now. That also contributed to my physical aggression. When people made me mad and kept agging it on, well, I mean I can't do this. In a brief moment. I would throw a chair at them. That's what that's what would happen when I got mad. Take this. Okay. Bye -bye. I can do this. Oh yay! <laughs> there we go, it's Genesis. Yay! Wait, but I brought that in here. Huh? I brought that in here, okay? No, that, 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 that guy's gone, that guy's gone, that guy's dead, I, I'm, that used to be me, but that was when I was on my medication, that caused my physical aggression, I've been on that medication since I was in kindergarten, and I stopped taking that medication on my freshman year, when I was taking my online courses for freshman year, you see, I was weird. I was messed up in the head. I, I was depressed a lot. And I would try and commit suicide because of bullying. And I would 
try and beat the crap out of people for when I'm bullying him. But you know what? That's gonna stop. And I <coughs> stop my physical aggressiveness. Now, sure, there, now, there are two types of bullies. There are physical aggressive or three types. The, the crazed ones that want to kill you, the, one, the, the, the ones that are physically aggressive, and the ones that are just trying to annoy you, just to uh, humiliate you and just to bother you all the time. You three gotta get out of here and just get a further respect for people. I mean, seriously, it was with the hatred and everything. What did the the person, the victim that you're bullying, do to you? Exactly. I mean, I mean, you're doing this. You're only mad at yourself. You should be mad at yourself for doing this. But you know what? People care. Okay. I care. The, the you see, people don't care about why or about you. I'm um, get, getting mad. They want to care. They care about what happened before, and they want to know what's going on. Get to know you. They want to get to know you. They don't want to <coughs> see you hurting them all the time. People care. There are people who actually care. And if you don't care, then how are they going to care? It's hard for people to care for someone if someone doesn't show that they care. Well, I'm going to say, here's a boy, okay? He doesn't care. He acts like he doesn't care, and he has something, has some emotional problems with him, and needs help. Okay, he he he's tr wants attention because he's uh, just he wants attention to show that he's mad and, and show what's going on in his life, but he doesn't know how to show it because all he can do is bully people. Here's a here's a victim. What are you doing that for? Uh, you idiot! What what's wrong with him? I don't know what's going on. I'm fine! Hmm, you don't seem to care. Excuse me. I don't care, okay? You see, now, if you show you don't care, how, how are these people gonna help you out? I don't know any other way to put this, but you have to show how, if, how, how you're gonna... You gotta show that you care in order for other people to care for you. To help you out, because people really want to help out with what's going on at home. How you got mad? Now, if you're bullying for fun, then that's not funny. Just joke around. Joking around doesn't involve one person at a time. time. You can at least time. now joking around. Yeah, one person at a time could also call a name. No, one person at a time changes the world. Oh, sorry. Do not do that. Alright, you see, joking around involves talk about just joke around like your mama joke or something that's fun. Do something that's fun. Yeah. Like let, let's just go with a simple pun. Start with a simple pun. Get to know someone first. Yes. Get to know them. They're like, hey, how's your day? You know. I don't know how to start. Actually, get friendship going. Hey, I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to be mean here. Uh, you know, he's not like the type of person who's like a totally socialistic person. He's not like me. And I'm not like, hey, you want to be friends? It's like, no, ass, uh, arsehole. Like, you see, I don't. I I I only get friends if the, they want to be friends. Uh, that's how how I get friends. I, I start talking to myself or talking to random people like that I don't know. And but but I mean I just start talking randomly and they'll be like, what's going on with him? Who is he talking to exactly? And then I um was like, okay, I was talking to you. And then um <clears throat> somehow something changes. It, it's just hard for me to make friends. You see the, the, the way things goes, I let it come to me because I don't, I can't, I don't know what to say. Trust issues. Trust issues. I can't trust people, really. Trust now, issues. sometimes, now, if I trust people, my trust becomes too open, wide, open, that things end up stuck. But if I don't trust, then I'm safe there. Now, I'm... I can't trust my children. On this regard, I never steal from people. That's another thing that you should never do. 
Don't steal from people. You see, what happened... <clears throat> uh, what happened? Just go get a chair. Why? You can get a chair. Why can't I just nail it? Sorry. Fine. Anyway. You see... <laughs> Uh, earlier, uh, last Friday, someone. Mm -hmm. Last Friday, um, someone um, stole something in Auto Shop. And, well. Headphones? Yeah, so, someone stole headphones in Auto Shop. And, um, well. If you're watching us, give them back. That's what we're trying to say. All right, they already got, they already got back. Oh, okay. Okay. So, anyway, what happened was. Someone plugged their um, phone charger into the wallet with the headphones still stuck in there. Well, um, the person went or er, um, sat or er, er, was sitting there, and then when they were about to do the test, what they used the remotes to do the test, mm -hmm. and they um, they walked up because their sight was impaired and walked up and sat in the seat, and then. Um, after the test, the person went out, went around, and went to, back to their own phones. And the next thing they knew, they were gone. So what happened was, the police came in and went and checked around after he reported and checked around and felt everyone and checked out all the su suspects and got the um, headphones returned. That's what happened. The person who um, sold the headphones was removed from the class, and also was sent to juvie for a day or so. That's what went on. That, that's, that's what will happen if you steal and or mess around in our school. Our school does not play around. I mean, seriously, it's very strict. Am I right? Not that strict. It, it's strict enough that... It's strict enough if you get your stuff stolen and if you get bullied, then... That's how strict it is. Then they're going to do something about it, especially if you're getting bullied. You can go tell the dean, which the dean's on my side. The dean, the dean's the dean knows me. The dean like knows me too. Yeah, like he said, if anything goes wrong, which I have not came to him yet. People in my class, I'm, I'm not going to say because uh, that's calling me out the world, and I also do have people all the way around the world who do watch this. So yeah, let me just say this. He is not a snitch, but he will do it. I will, I will uh, protect my rights. He is, this is, this is his last warning to you all. And, well, this last warning is to people at our school. It's not to all of you. Don't mess around with me. But, let me just say this, don't mess with the victims. The people who don't bully. Don't mess with people who don't bully. Because that's going to come around and bite you in the butt. Alright. All in all. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Thank you for subscribing. And I what? and our first subscriber to um to um Grilled Cheese Productions, you are awesome. Thank you. Okay, so as always, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave the punch that like button. Um please subscribe to our channels. And Lewis stay Christopher, cheesy! Lewis Bristow. Jeff Lies, Grocery Production, Jackson, uh, uh, Demigod, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, his oh, name no. is Kane Demigod. Yeah, Kane Demigod. Underscore one of Yeah, yeah, what did he say? Kane Demigod, underscore one of the ones. And you know what? Stay cheesy. Okay, bye. 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 We're gonna send that soon. We need to redo that because you know, there's been a problem. We'll, we'll try our best, but we'll, we'll get it done. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah. You got any more? Uh, 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 I did have something. I lost it. Okay. Thanks. Stay cheesy. Peace out. Bombo Nimentos, Anapa Tietu.